Good morning. I'm Oscar Valencia, founder of Breaking Down Your Walls. Breaking Down Your Walls is a company that does experiential team building programs for the salon industry and or other companies and corporations that are looking to create better communication skills, better team development, more trust amongst the team. Um, I take them through my two-day workshop a bunch of challenges, games, initiatives that require all the individuals to come together as an entire team to really work on what we call shared mental models. A shared mental model is everybody understanding exactly what the objectives are, what the details are from the top down and the bottom up. It is all clear. We use this term a lot of times, everybody needs to get on the same page, kind of a cliche. I know a lot of people that are on the same page within a company. However, I think sometimes they're all reading a different book. Same page, 55, 10 different books. Not going to happen. Shared mental models create very tight, concise, detailed communication. <coughs> Excuse me. I take your teams through a seven-step problem-solving system where they really start to understand how to break down a challenge and to start formulating and brainstorming and creating trial and errors, etc. are part of the seven-step problem-solving system. I also work on what we called a sounding model. A sounding model is um, a system that allows everyone to have an equal voice in how to try to achieve an outcome based on a challenge that I have set forth. It is a, it's a model that takes away the alphas, the aggressors, and or maybe the loudest. As we all know, some of those are the ones who tend to win or tend to just pile it all on until they win. Through the sounding model, it is a structure that gives everybody the opportunity to speak how they would want to achieve something in their opinions, their thoughts, and their ways. Then it goes to a proposal, and then a vote is taken. I teach another system called the new rule of thumb. And we got this one that yes is a yes. We got this that says no. But what does this mean? I teach you how to create consensus in my workshop, not just majority rules. Now, this doesn't always equate to the day-to-day -day operations of a company because companies are not necessarily a democracy all the time where we can have everybody's opinion, input, and vote. The top creates the company, the owners, whatever, have their design, their vision, etc. However, when the opportunities do arise where it can go out to more of the team and they feel more a part in the collaboration of creation, that's when we have stronger buy-in. I'm sure you would agree with that. Um, the, the workshop is a ton of fun. And it's also very mentally challenging, not so much physically, although we do some little games where we're moving around, not high activity, not dangerous, um, but a lot of fun, a lot of insights. In my briefing, in my opening of day one, I literally read, you cannot participate in this workshop without changing yourself and changing the way you see others and looking at the realm of what's possible. And so... That's just some, some of the highlights of the team building component. Again, the company is called Breaking Down Your Walls, right? And it actually came to me in a dream several years ago. And in my dream, I was thinking, I guess, in the middle of the night, what stops us in life? And in my dream was this big object off in the distance that was big and it was blurry and it started coming towards me. And it start, as it got towards me, I could see it was a wall. And I'm like, ding, 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 yes. Our walls stop us. Would you agree with that? I'm sure you would. Now, in this dream, the wall kept coming closer and getting more and more clear, and I could see that it was a brick wall. And then the bricks had words on it. Commitment, consistency, passion, follow-through, dedication, love, joy, understanding. All these words like were popping like popcorn in my brain. I popped out of bed. I looked at my clock. It was 3.18 on a Tuesday morning. I ran upstairs to my office at the time, got out my flip chart, started making all these lines and all these squares. And I started dumping all these words in these squares. 20, probably 30, 40 minutes later, I was kind of out of thoughts, out of words in my head. And I looked at all these squares that I still had empty. So I go to my library right next to me, my inspirational library, Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, Tony Robbins, K 
Ken Blanchard, personal friend, um, and some of these other gurus that we call in the inspirational world. And I just started opening some of their books and grabbing words to fill up the spots. Eventually, another 20 or so minutes, I filled them in. And now I look at this whole thing and I got all these words and all these squares. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what to do with it. And I ended up having 90 of them. And the first title that popped into my head in that moment was Turn Your Life Around 180 Degrees in 90 Days. Fast forward, that little dream has become an actual product. These are actual tangible bricks. Each brick has a word, spontaneous, healthy, and there's 90 of them again. And so I have, um, in my old office, I have a huge display board, magnetic board, three foot by four foot. Our walls are big. And if you think they're not, you're lying to yourself. So I want my wall in my face because it is. You can put your head in the sand and pretend it's not there, but your wall is in your face. So now if it's displayed and I'm having bad thoughts, and negative thoughts and negative energy. This is a great way to change that energy every day. This is how I start my morning. I draw three bricks every morning. I look at the bricks. You know, here's relentless, responsibility, productive, thankful, perspective. We could all use some of that. And each one has the word, a definition, and an inspirational message on the bottom. Here's perspective for that matter. Um, the state of one's ideas, the facts known to one, a mental view or perspective. Here's the inspirational message, and this happens to be from Dalai Lama. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. So imagine every morning starting off and creating your intention for your day with a plan. I know in a lot of my presentations and speeches, I talk about, does your day happen to you? At the end of the day, do you reflect and go, oh, that was a good day, that was a great day, oh, that was a terrible day, oh my God, or it was, you know, ebbs and flows and all over the place. That's the end of the day response. Or do you, or do you happen to your day? If you're going to happen to your day, you got to get up, stand up, and set your intention right out the chute. Would you agree with that? I personally do. So I draw three bricks, I read them, I study them. I think, how are these speaking to me? What am I feeling? What's coming to mind from these three words? Then I write down three actions I could take with those words to create positive outcomes in my day. Then I do my magic, and it's called creating your power sentence. Now, a power sentence is creating a very strong intention using those three words. So it kind of stays with you throughout your day. You know, here's persistent, limitless, successful, excited, Consistency, unstoppable, empowerment. Here's what I'm ready for. It's Friday. Let's get relaxed this weekend. And so these are just some of the 90 that allow you to really have a powerful, powerful tool. You know, our thoughts and our beliefs create results. And unfortunately, for many, many years, my thoughts and my beliefs have held me back. Over the development of my company and this tool, I have really been able to work on creating stronger thoughts, stronger beliefs, and definitely more positive outcomes. If you're struggling with your thoughts and your belief system, I highly recommend investing in this tool. And this is a fantastic tool available on the website, breakingdownyourwalls.com, and go to the little uh, to the store part of it where I have all my different products and or coaching that I do and or my live courses that you can kind of see what's going on there. It's a great, it's a cool website. There's a lot of action videos from some of my in salon and or live trainings that I do with companies in the team building realm. And there's some testimonials from my coaching clients. There's also some testimonial from a lot of people who use these bricks daily. And so I just want to say it's great to meet you. I hope to see more of you on Breaking Down Your Walls, as well as my YouTube page, or my Facebook Breaking Down Your Walls page, or again, Oscar Valencia, uh, my personal page. And I just want to let you know that I am passionate about what I do. I'm pretty passionate about life on a regular basis, even though I'm human. We get nicks and scrapes and bends and breaks, but I just keep coming back because I have a tool that I'm as human as the next person. But if you get down, you just can't stay down. you got to get back up. There's so many cliches I could say to that right now, and you probably know the 10 of them that I would say. But I challenge you 
to invest in yourself, to invest in your mind, to invest in your thoughts and your beliefs so you can take your life and your business to the next level. So for today, I'm going to say peace out. Have a great day. Have an awesome weekend. Set your intentions every day. If you're looking for more support other than just these cards, give me a holler. Reach out. Let's talk about what's possible through possibly a coaching relationship. I also have a do-it-yourself coaching workbook for those of you who are more proactive and a little more self-starter that kind of can get the ball rolling on your own. That's good for a very small percentage. You might think you're that, but I'm talking a very small percentage could actually do that and create really strong results. Most of us really need a lot more support, a lot more encouragement, a sounding board, another voice, another mind, and that's where I come in. I'd love the opportunity to meet you. I'd love the opportunity for you to reach out for a free assessment, and let's just chat and see what's possible. I'm not attached to anything. I am attached to all of us having the best life we can. Oscar Valencia, heading out. Got to go uh, visit some friends at their business and work with them a little bit today and support their team to making better outcomes, better futures for themselves and their families, and I'd like to do the same for you. Um, God bless. Take care. Be well.